Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Okay, so let's play this through for you guys for a, a few minutes, and then let's discuss kind of what uh, Trout's talking about. I don't want to tell you all my series. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just messing. But, uh, yeah, I'm, up, um, I'm always sitting fastball, fastball off the middle. Um, for me, if I sit off speed, hit them at fastball, I'm done. So I like to, you know, just sit fastball and react to the off speed. You know, if I get my, if I'm uh, on time with the fastball, I'm definitely going to be on time with the, uh, you know, off speed. Okay, so a couple of points. First thing he says is that he sits fastball, right? So he's always sitting fastball, and he's thinking fastball, middle chunk of the plate. Now, I've talked to a lot of different players about uh, their approach at the plate, and everyone's going to have slight variances to it, but a lot of players that I talk to are pretty similar as far as they're typically sitting fastball, and they're th sitting middle middle chunk of the plate. Okay, so let's talk about sitting fastball first. Um, a little bit of this depends on the level you play at. So if you're at a younger level, then I think that sitting fastball, you're, you're going to get a fastball at a younger level, you know, 80% of the time probably. At, you know, at the major league level, I think the percentage is going to be a little bit lower. You're probably going to get a fastball more in like probably around the 60s. Um, but as you get lower in levels, guys don't command their off-speed pitch very well, right? Um, if you go really low, guys are just starting to learn their off-speed pitches. And so I always think it's a good idea to sit fastball because you're going to get that pitch more often than any other pitch. And you're also, um, you've practiced that pitch all the time, right? So you're always practicing fastballs very rarely. Like with our guys, we try to practice. We get on the curveball machine, right? We try to simulate curveballs. Um, but I know a lot of teams don't spend really any time practicing curveballs, all right? So practice hitting the pitch that you, or think about hitting the pitch that you practice a lot and that you hit best. Right? There's probably very few players who say, oh, yeah, I really kill the curveball, but I just can't hit a fastball, right? Typically, it's guys are really, really good at hitting fastballs or better at hitting fastballs than breaking balls and off-speed because that's what they hit all the time. And he brings up another interesting point. He says that if he sits curveball or sits off-speed, that he can't get to the fastball. And that's true, especially against the guy that's, that's throwing hard. Uh, so what you want to do is a few things. One, if you feel like a guy is constantly throwing you curveballs early in the count or first pitch and you want to sit on a curveball, you know, I'm not totally against that as long as you feel it's a curveball that you can really hit. But if he throws you a fastball and you're sitting curveball, you have to take it. So you can't sit curveball, have him throw you a fastball, and then all of a sudden say, oh, here comes a fastball instead, and then try to hit that. You're going to be late, and it's going to be really difficult to square it up. So whatever pitch you're sitting on, sit on it. And if you get that pitch and it's a good pitch to hit, hit it. And if it's not that pitch, take it. Don't sit curveball and then say, oh, he threw a fastball down the middle. i got to hurry up and swing. You're not on time for a fastball, right? So you're not going to hit that ball very well. So hit the ball that you're sitting on, okay? And as you move up in levels, you know, you start to get more info and more data on guys, and you face guys multiple times, and you get to start to see some guys get into habits, and then you can kind of start to sit on the pitch that you think you're going to get most. But in my opinion, at a lower level, again, you probably want to sit on fastball, get on the fastball. You're going to get much more fastballs to hit. You practice it all the time, and then when you get that good fastball, just don't miss it. Okay, so I just wanted to shoot this out to you guys, hear a little bit about what Mike Trout does, and then a little bit of my opinion that I think will help you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. Give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Share the video with all your friends. Check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff down there for you guys. We've got a deal going on with Plate Crate. We've got other recommendations for you to check out. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. And that's all I got, guys. Good luck to you, and we'll talk to you later.